Why is it that we're doing what we're doing as a species? Is it not that we're trying to create home, a home for us? When you don't feel at home, you want home, and you're trying to secure home in an outer sense by what you're doing in the world based on a heart that doesn't feel it's at home. This has to do with the intimate spaces of consciousness. Because home isn't really about a house per se. Home is the context for self. And what is that context? At every level, a self has a context, a home to live in. At a physical level, a home is a house. Good enough. But we don't just live at a, at a physical level. We live at a being level. We live in the in, intimate spaces of who we are. We live in this space in consciousness of thought and feeling and association and communion in consciousness. We live in a realm of awareness. We don't just live on the earth in the physical. We live in this space in consciousness where all kinds of magic happens. I say that what heaven is for God, consciousness is for us. It's this remarkable intimate space that we can share together, where we can know communion, we can know love, where we can create. Yes, that creation may ultimately get manifest in the physical, but we're creating in consciousness in this heaven of being that we know as creator beings, as human beings in human flesh. We have tremendous power with other people. We are affecting other people profoundly all the time in a way that we can be blissfully unconscious of. And we can use that power for good when we own it and use it consciously, when we come into the fullness of it. So it's not just us and them. It's all of us together who are using our power for something that's not going in a good direction. So where is the voice of sanity that says, uh, guess what? <laughs> we all have a common interest here. We're all in this together. And we're, we all have the opportunity to use this tremendous power for creation for good. We do have a tremendous impact in our world. It's either imposing a human order that ultimately self-destructs, or it's being an instrument of universal order. We notice that creation has an order to it that is beautiful. When we catch a glimpse of the fact that we could be an instrument of the creative order of the universe. That that's natural for us to be that. We could be that ordering influence. I think our life changes. Yes, I'm powerful, but I'm powerful for good. I'm powerful in a way that's in integrity with, with the intimate space in which I live. I could express from that, most inmo that inmost space so that my actions are an action of love that emerges from that space, that resonates from it. The only possible answer is from some of us living in resonance together in intimate space and then bringing a message to the world from that space. 